What's going on guys? If you've been following along or you're a regular viewer, you will know that last week we just did some destructive testing on some cast iron. Well, I'm not one to want to let something go to waste, so this week we're going to try welding that handle back on that cast iron skillet with some 7018 rod. Let's get going. Now for my regular viewers or for those of you that have been following along with this series, you'll know that this is the third time we've broken this handle off this cast iron skillet. So it's the joint fit up is kind of getting a little sloppy and loose here. Uh, but I'm doing my best here to, to prep the joint and grind it all down. You can see how big that uh, gap is right there. But uh, I've had some limited success with welding cast iron using some 7018 rod. So that's what we've got here. Uh, we've got some 8th inch 7018. And I'm just going along. There's no preheat. And you can see right there so that I get a clean uh, arc when I start. I'm just rubbing it on that file there. Doing a real short bead. Maybe a quarter inch, half an inch tops. Uh, then I'm peening it which is going to help relieve the stress in the weld. And then I'm going along and I'm just again each time hitting it with a file so that my arc is real crisp when it starts. Now there are many ways to repair cast iron and this is just one of many. I've had some success welding cast in the past using 7018 rods and I wanted to try it out on this and give some of you guys a bunch of different methods because not everybody has an oxy fuel rig set up where they can do brazing. I presume a lot of you guys probably have a stick welder or an AC buzz box and uh, 7018 rods run with a buzz box. Uh, and this is a viable repair using 7018s. We're going to test it out in the end here uh, to see just how strong this 7018 repair is. But uh, like I said, this is just one of many different ways uh, to repair cast iron. And uh, you know, it's good to have a bunch of different tools in your toolbox to try because there isn't always just one solution fix all uh, for everything. You know, you ask 20 different people on the best way to uh, repair cast iron, you're going to probably get 20 different answers. So, figured this would just be a great experiment uh, to try out and see how it works. So I ended up settling on like 50 amps and it was brutal because the gaps were so big. Uh, it was just literally blowing right through. Plus that's 8th inch uh, 7018 rod which is way too big. Um, but we got it done. Uh, you know, more glob for the job. But it's on there and it actually got some good penetration. So what I'm going to do is... You know, grinder is what it, what the uh, welder isn't. So I'm going to grind this down, make this look nice and flush and smooth. But look on the inside. I mean, we got penetration all the way to the inside of this. So I'd say that's, I, I'm not concerned one least bit with how this is going to hold up. At least not so far. It hasn't popped yet. We'll see what happens here in the next few minutes. But. Now, welding cast iron is nothing like welding mild steel. Cast iron has a lot of trash, a lot of pot metal and garbage in it. Now, when you start you know, heating this up, which is what you're doing when you're, you're melting the metal, uh, when you start wetting the cast iron, all that trash and all the contaminants start floating to the top. So you're going to get like wormholes, um, little inclusions. It's just, it's part of the process. It's just part of welding cast iron. That's why a lot of people elect to uh, braze cast iron because you're not necessarily wetting the cast. You're not melting it per se. You're just adding uh, the filler material to it. Now here I've just cut out a mild steel patch and you're gonna see that this is a major fail uh, when welding 7018 cast to mild steel. So as far as putting the handle on it, welding cast to cast, I think 7018, at least for these large pans, works all right. But where 7018 really starts to fail is joining to similar metals. When you join cast to mild steel, look at all the cracks in there. It's bad. So I would say if you are trying to join some broken parts on one of these large cast iron pans that uh, 7018 rod seems to work pretty well for this uh, without even a preheat just do little short bursts and peanut it uh, welding dissimilar metals with 7018 mild steel to cast with 7018 rod 
I would say that's a no-go. And that's all there is to it, guys. That was a pretty fun little experiment. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, um, but now we know. Wait a minute, we're not done. You guys were supposed to remind me. We got to test this thing. Did the 7018 hold up as well as the Muggy Weld Rod? If you guys didn't see the episode last week, I'll put a link right up above so you guys can check that out. But let's get going. Let's see how much this handle will hold after being repaired with 7018. Because the handle's got that little gap in it. Last week it tipped over when we tried it. So I've got a little strap across it there. But yeah, let's see how much it'll hold. With our last experiment, we welded that handle on using the Muggy Weld cast iron nickel rod and the number we got to beat is 114.6 pounds. That's how much weight it held before the last handle broke. I think it's going to go. Wow. Now we got to add the chain, remember? Now we're going to find out whether 7018 rod is just as strong as the Muggy Weld nickel rod. The number to beat is 114.6 pounds. 104.8. Check this out guys. It actually tore, tore some of the metal out of it away from the weld. The actual parent metal got torn out. Now what I did was is I drew this black line so from this line up is the original handle. This part here below that line is the actual parent metal. That's not even the weld. You can see the worm holes in the black there. That's where the weld is. That's pretty impressive actually. And that's all there is to it guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is something that you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are wondering what it is I'm working on before it even makes it up to YouTube, you guys can click on the links down below for Facebook and Instagram. I'm always usually uploading stuff before it even makes it onto YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Till next week, see ya.